Okay, welcome back. And as you can see, we've got Mars Toys Heisenberg here. Uh, say my name, bitch. Uh, we got number no dot m a t zero zero one. So it's the first release by Mars Toys, even though the uh, Raja Ghoul. Uh, or Raza Ghoul, whatever way you want to pronounce it, which officially is uh, Mars Toys' third release that actually come out first, and Mars Toys' second release is the clown figure, which is a recast of the uh, is it the DX09 or 8? One of those two, the uh, Jack Nicholson Joker. That's uh, actually Mars Toys number two. So we've it's all back to front. We've had number three first, now number one, and then hopefully number two, the clown will be coming out uh, March, April, May, June, July, whenever. Um, but if this sets anything to go by, then I think it's definitely going to be uh, another good one. As you can see from this still image, basically because I can't be bothered to move, it's too cold. And it looks good, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I will show you a little 360 in a second of the figure. I just wanted to uh, get the introduction done and uh, mention a few things, bits of information, because there's only two reviews out there. Uh, one by Justin and one by uh, Third Party Reviews. And um, the review by Justin... Uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I, I, the, only, the only thing I can say is that you need to check your facts. If you're going to talk about something, you need, to, you need to know what you're talking about. Um, you know, if you're a fan of the show, then you will know what the guy wears on his feet. And if you know... Uh, if you've seen the three zero figure, you will know, or if you've even looked it online and compared the pictures, you'll know this is not the same head sculpt. So if anybody wants to pass on that little nugget to Justin, please do. Um, this head sculpt was done by Trevor Grove originally. I'd say it was uh, released by Masterworks, I Mini Me, Cult King, they all, they go by many names, but I believe the sculptor was Trevor Grove. And um, the, uh, there's a video, I'll put a link to it, an LED showing this head sculpt on a Wolf King kitbash type figure. And this head sculpt, I believe, went for about 250 on its own when it when it came out. And it is a great likeness to wear. Uh, Brian Cranston, Walt White, Heisenberg, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've got recasts of the uh, Trevor Grove one, and uh, I'll show them shortly, side by side, and um, this one is... A really nice one and I can see a lot of people wanting this figure as the uh, prices on eBay reflecting now that the price is jumping up quite steeply if you go to 16 kit or KG Hobby you can still I think KG Hobby have this one uh, I know 16 kit does that's where I got this from, so thanks to them for a great service. Um, it was £88 delivered. So if you check Kitchen, I checked today, they're still selling. Um, it's up on pre-order, but they're in stock, so grab one if you, while, they, while you can. Because people are sending these on eBay for 130 140 and if you just want a decent head sculpt alone, you know, this is one that is definitely worth getting. The outfit set, as you can see, I'll show you a quick little 
look around. You've got the uh, Wallabies trademark of Walter White, which if you watched the show, you would know that. And um, he's always got these windbreakers in different colours, representing different moods, different uh, danger levels. And um, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole uh, psychology into the uh, colours and the outfits worn by, uh, well, the, the cast. Not just Walt White, but all the cast. It's a, uh, it's a science, bitch. So yeah, I just want to show the head sculpt really because that is the, uh, that's what people are angry about. That of the original uh, masterworks one calling this recast trash which it is recast but it is not trash as you can see it's got a seam line there but the paint job I think you'll agree is very good the lightness is very very good so hats off to Trevor Grove I'll say for £88 this set is a no-brainer it did come with the green shirt as well. Um, the sort of khaki coloured trousers, the belt, the wallabies, and this bag, which you do see in, in the series. Um, briefly, it was a bag made by... Um, Fossil.com, I think. Originally, it's discontinued bag. Very accurate to the one used in the show. One in the show did have a flap on the back. This one's got a zip. So, but other than that, it's very, very close. So the original did have a little round leather logo here. But other than that, it is spot on. So, yeah. I mean, I, I like the box. It's a shame it didn't actually come with a body. But um, you can pick up a body for £15, £16. Pound, and then you've got a really nice set. This is not the same as the 3-0 head sculpt. The 3-0 I've had in hand. And the head is a lot bigger. Um... So if you did get the 3-0 hat and try and put it on here, it wouldn't fit. It'd be it'd look ridiculous and it wouldn't it, it wouldn't sit on there, it'd just flop about. Because uh, I, I said I did have did have it and I tried it on the uh, other Trevor Grove recast and it just it was ridiculous. I have got this one that I made recently for my uh my white bait needs a little bit of refinement, it's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna redo that. But if somebody was to offer some, I know uh, Entropy made some years ago. And they're very sought after. So if I could get one of those or a recast of that, that'd be ideal. These shoes, I think, were originally sculpted by Trevor as well. Um, checking out the other ones made by Wolf King and uh, Eleven. They look completely different. I'll show you the side by side with my 11 kit bash water in a second but uh yeah just trying to think of anything else that needs to be covered oh yeah my uh, gun he doesn't i don't remember him actually using this gun but um my gun has a little bit of a flaw where as you can see it has no grip it must have fell off or wasn't put on but uh, apparently that clip does come out and it does come with two extra clips. I can't get that out. But yeah, just thought I'd show it. You know, other than that, there's no flaws. It comes with the uh, t-shirt slash um, 
sleeve. It's got no sleeves, but you can see it's like a t-shirt and the fat belly. Yeah, excess like um, add-on. So they give them that little paunch, which you know, at this sort of stage of the series, like it was say my name. I think it says series four or five. I think it's series four, but um, he was, you know, recovering. He was in remission, and he was uh, sort of uh, fluctuating in weight. So makes sense to have a little bit of a gut. But yeah, this is this jacket as well. I've got the three zero one. Three zero one is very puffy. He's got a lot of um, padding. This one is nicely tailored to the the figure, so looks a, a lot more in the scale. Everything else looks perfect. So I will just uh, be back in a second with. Uh, my custom Trevor Grove 11 uh, Walter White and uh, show them side by side. Okay, just wanted to show these side by side because I think they are literally the same sculpt. You know, they don't look exactly the same because of the paint job. And one's wearing glasses, one's not. Um, but there you go. There's my one. And if you compare the lines and the wrinkles, they do match up. Come on, focus. So it just shows you, you know, what a what a factory paint job. And a uh, yeah. not a factory paint job. The difference. Let me put that phone out of the way. It might be two different sculpts. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these things, but. I know it's definitely not the three zero head sculpt, that's for sure. Yeah, and this you can see the bad cast in here has left a elongated ear. But uh other than that it does the marks do match up. And the beard looks exactly the same. It's got the same hair. Obviously, it's more like a ginger. This is more brown. And uh, the skin tone on this one's a lot, a lot rougher. I don't know if that's just because it's a bad cast or in there, the, the process of making this, it's smoothed out some of the wrinkles. It's been a bit more kinder to Brian Cranston. But it definitely um, he, he is quite craggy in the uh, in real life and in the show. But um, yeah, I always thought these this was a bit too craggy and a bit too severe. So maybe I'll get another one just for a bit of fun. I'll swap the head onto my chems suit set. This was the set offered by Kitchen some years ago, come with the shoes. As you can see the shoes are a lot different and they've got um, like a texture to the base, like a, like a grip. Whereas this is just kind of flat with some uh, casting marks. As you can see this really nicely done. It's kind of like a pimpled rubber sole and with the socks, which I need to tuck into the bottom there. The uh, chem hazmat suit, which is pretty accurate. The 3M gas mask, it's pretty good. The phone eye, 
picked up off eBay. And yeah, one thing I would agree with Justin on is uh, that this would have been nice if it had come with a hat, but you know, I thought the hat was a little bit gimmicky in the show anyway, so I'm not that bothered. But it was kind of like his trademark, so to put Heisenberg on the box and then uh, not include a hat was a bit of a missed opportunity. This is the uh, 3 0. Let me move these out of the way a sec. This is the 3 0 uh, windbreaker. As you can see, it's a lot puffier, it's a lot thicker. It's got a lining and some sort of. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's got. No, this has got a silky line. I think it's just got a bit more, slightly more padding. And I didn't like the 3 0 figure because it just. The scale of it didn't go with uh, this figure. It was just threw it off, and um, yeah, it's an it's not a bad figure on its own. Or if you've got that one and the um, three zero Jesse, they look good together. I'm not slating three zero. They did do a decent enough job for the price when it came out. It was about hundred pounds. I think that was a pretty decent price. So if you can get one, I think you can still get them for around about that price. I think uh, it's nothing to be sniffed at, but this sculpt is uh, obviously a lot superior. So what else did I want to include and show? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do the head swap. So yeah, I just wanted to show that quickly. Uh, I think you'd agree. It does look rather good. So yeah, uh, the set come with the bag, as I mentioned. It also come with the green shirt as a, a pre-order extra. Not like everyone's giving the, the shirt away now. So get on eBay, or better still, go to One Six Kit or KG Hobby and get it for eighty eight pounds. Get yourself a bargain. Yeah, tell them I sent you and they might give me a discount in the future that'd be nice uh, nothing much else to say except I uh, hope you enjoyed the little look a little bit of a rant slagging off uh, old Justin he does his best doesn't he can't uh, can't get everything right but uh, yeah Yeah, this is my blue meth that I made with uh, rock salt and blue paint. The stuff that come uh, with the figure, I'll just show you quickly. You know, it's it's nice that they've included it, but it's more like uh, like a sand texture. Whereas in the uh, show. Here's the green shirt I was talking about. So if you want to do a season one in his uh, tighty whities look, that would be pretty good. Also a couple of uh, band-aids you can put on his nose for when him and Jesse and uh, him and Mike have their fallouts. And you can see on the eyebrow there's uh, some uh, blood there from one of his <laughs> many tussles many uh, comedic moments in the show uh, so yeah I just wanted to show you the money quickly show me the money bitch it's nicely done it's got like a glossy uh, finish to it little paper uh, what do you call them I don't know bindings and uh, yeah there's the crystal crystal meth it's very uh, granular like sugar or salt as this is the sort of scale I remember from the show so if anybody wants some uh, get yourself a bag of rock salt 
it rock salt? Um, was it sea salt? I think it's sea salt, rock salt, same thing. Get yourself some of these little, uh, really useful boxes. Get some baggies. They sell them on their eBay. Make yourself some nice uh, crystal meth and stack them up. And then you've got a nice little uh, diorama background. Stack them up. And also, I'll just show you these quickly the barrels that I've got. This is the one that come with the 11 set. And uh, yeah, just using these boxes to uh, prop up my camera. So you can see it's a very professional setup, very slick. No light box, none of that shit. We go, we're keeping it real. Biatch. And might as well, just for fun, show you my Jesse. Oh, this is a really nice sculpt, covered in dust. That was, uh, I can't remember exactly who made it, but I, when I saw it, somebody was selling it on eBay, I had to have it. So I made a trade, sold one of my, or traded one of my figures, just to get the sculpt. So worked out being quite expensive, but only one I've ever seen and really like it, really like the hair. You usually see Jesse with just the shaved look, but in the early seasons he had this uh, kind of do. And uh, yeah, this set, this hip hop set, I think it's called. I'm not sure who made it, but you got the uh, Echo uh, Limited hoodie, Darth Vader T-shirt. R.I.P. to Dave Prowse that passed recently. And the tap out jeans. And then uh, I need to get him some better trainers, but uh, these ones were originally yellow. They come with the Ken Man set. So I just repainted those. But they look all right for now. So yeah, this is a long old video. Um, I don't do edits. So if you've bear with me this long and uh, you've learned something or had some entertainment thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon bye